All right, welcome back. Many of you probably know that Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight champion, is in town, and he met up with Mayor Rob Ford. Well, he joins us right now with his promoter, Alex. Thanks for joining us, both of you. I'll start with yourself. Uh, many are wondering, how did that happen, this meeting with, with the mayor? I have no idea. It's, it's my fault to get <laughs> No, at the end of the day, he is the mayor of the city. Mike Tyson is here to promote the first ever performance in Canada. And when I had Sugar Ray Leonard come to Montreal to launch the book, we went to the mayor's office. We're here, it's an habit. We go see the mayor. And this is the first time probably in the history of Toronto where the mayor is bigger than the whole, the whole city. You know, he's the biggest celebrity than anybody in the city. Everybody wants to see the mayor. And um, he's a really uh, dynamic character. Right, so did you, you read up on him? You sort of would follow no, him? No, I didn't read up on him. I watched him on television. Right. In the, I mean, States, in the yeah. States. In the States. You know, he's a big, oh, he's a big hit in the States. A big hit. Now, well, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even know who said that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that. You know, because it's negative, and you're being negative. And I, 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 met, I met the mayor, right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. We, we, we talked about George Trevallo, who's a legend in your city, great man, with whom Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, you know, highs and lows. It's so interesting because you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. That's, nah, that was a piece of, fuck you, that was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, I don't care, what are you going to do about it? All right, you got, a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot of people we are. are where it comes there. raw and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of people the be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. All right. It's a Broadway production. It went to Vegas. It went to actually 28 cities in the United States. And we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, like... No, because you're a piece of shit. All right, really we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna wrap, wrap up this interview. Well, thank you for thank you for coming in. Fuck you. What's going on, tours? Yo, is it just me or was that interview funny as fuck? No, I know some people may say uh, I don't see no humor and. Mike Tyson being a bully or whatever they may the way whatever which way they want to take it but uh to me it appeared like the reporter was you know he was sitting there asking him a few questions about his live show that he's promoting and he was just doing his job asking simple questions but I think that was a derogatory statement as far as him bringing that up now who's to say was he paid to ask that question you know what I'm saying was he paid to ask that deliberate question to Mike you know what I'm saying as far as him being a convicted rapist then Mike Tyson's uh, promoter that was sitting right next to him was kind of like you know instead of trying to calm the situation down he was more like you know hey I got a job to do too as well and I'm getting paid to do this as far as to promote this show with Mike Tyson you know what I'm saying so it's like he didn't even in a way intervene or try to manage the situation that's what I thought. But the other guy, he was more like, you know, trying to calm the situation down. Then he kept on digging and digging, asking questions. Like, he asked him another question that was more like, kind of like, what do you say? He said, uh, is it more nerve-wracking doing your live show? Or is it more nerve-wracking going to the ring to face an opponent? <laughs> now, come on, are you going to ask Iron Mike Tyson? You know, you're going to ask the champ that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? He's so used to knocking big, tall motherfuckers out. He has a history of doing that shit in the ring. And you ask him a question like that, all I did was just a few more. That just got him more tensed. You know what I mean? And you can see in his face, he's still, yeah, you know, he's an older guy now, but he still had that mentality as, of that pit bull type nature that he had in the ring. He still has it. You know what I'm saying? You can tell it by, <laughs> you know, see, you can tell by his facial expressions. He almost looked like, kind of like, he really wanted to say, well, I'm not going to use try to do his voice. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to do that. But uh, he really was more like, kind of like, I knock motherfuckers out in the ring. I used to do that for a living and in the street. And you come here and ask me these stupid ass questions, I ought to knock your head off right now on national TV. You pussy ass. He really wanted to take them hands and go to work right now on TV. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to drop them bings on them like, I ought to punch you in your mouth for asking me them stupid motherfucking questions. <laughs> <laughs> I just found it to be kind of hilarious to hear Mike say that. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, it's his show and he's promoting his show, and, you know, and he probably did really take that as being disrespectful from the reporter asking him those type of questions. You know what I mean? He probably was like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, me being convicted as a rapist back in the day doesn't have nothing to do with this show that I'm trying to promote. You know, this is how I make my bread now. You trying to fuck it up. That's what probably how he was feeling. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think on this whole scenario with Mike Tyson <laughs> going off on this reporter. Alright then. Till then, I'll catch y'all on another one. Alright. Snarl.